Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to show you how to get this everyday summertime glam. It is very glowy, very light and fresh, but I added a pop of color to the lips because I love a very neutral look with a pop of color. I just think it looks really fun and flirty and bold and I just love it. And I know it's not technically summertime, but it's basically summertime and Summer is literally a couple of weeks away, so I wanted to come up with a look that is really easy and fun to do for more of an everyday kind of glam look. So if you guys are new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We're almost at 1K subs. We're getting there. Oh my God, YouTube is so hard, but we are getting there. And you can also follow me on Instagram. And if you guys would like to see how to get this look right here, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm trying this whole new like backdrop thing with like the lighting and um, I tried to like iron the backdrop and that was a bust and then I tried to put it in the dryer and it didn't really work. So we're just going to deal with this like wrinkly background. I'm trying to make it like a new thing that way um, I don't have to worry about it. So sorry. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the tutorial. I'm going to start off by just filling in my pores. Like I said in the beginning, this is just a really like simple kind of look. I'm not doing like full blown, like full coverage foundation and stuff like that, but I'm just wanting everything to just to be like nice and light, but I do like to fill in my pores either way. Like even if I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look, just because my pores are kind of a problem area, my skin isn't the greatest. So I'm just taking my Benefit Professional and filling in my pores and I'm just dabbing that in, ignore my ugly nails right now. This is just gonna be like a really hot mess, like ratchet kind of video, not sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just filling in my pores and then after that, I am just taking this e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Mist. This is just going to kind of prep my skin and make it nice and plump and just kind of like make everything nice and hydrated. And it's also going to act as an all-over primer. The sprayer on this sucks really bad, but I do like this gel formula. It makes my makeup adhere really well and it just makes it stick and stay all day. So here we go. <laughs> I seriously hate the sprayer. It's awful. But anyways, I am just going to kind of like press that in with my sponge. That way it is all nice and even. Now for my foundation, I'm not really using a foundation. I am just using this Maybelline Dream BB Cream. And this is like an extremely sheer kind of coverage. There really isn't much color to it. It almost just is like a tinted moisturizer for the most part. But I do like using this because it does have SPF in it and it just kind of lays out a nice base for my makeup and it makes everything stick well. My favorite brush to use for this is the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. This brush is amazing. I love it. So I am just dabbing a little bit on the brush and just kind of blending that in. Once again, this is extremely sheer coverage. You could always go in with something heavier if you want, but since this is more of like a summertime makeup look, I'm just trying to keep it nice and fresh. That way my makeup isn't feeling really heavy and isn't making me feel weighed down throughout the day. Next up, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. You can use any brightening concealer for this, but I'm just using my trusty Tarte Shape Tape, and this is obviously a few shades lighter because I'm just highlighting all of the areas that I want nice and bright, and I'm not going in super heavy, like I'm not doing the full like triangle, just kind of like a smaller one, just to conceal any dark spots and dark under circles, and just to highlight where I normally would with any makeup look including my cupid's bow and chin and then i have a lot of discoloration right here sometimes so i'm just kind of adding that i do have some pimples popping out so i'm going to go ahead and also grab this wet and wild what is this the wet and wild photo focus concealer this is a great drugstore concealer it's high coverage and blends out really well this is perfect for spot concealing because it's closer to my actual skin tone so i'm just spot concealing anywhere that i have like major zits you know what I'm saying so then I'm going to take this crown brush and just blend everything out I'm using more of a stippling motion and then just kind of blending underneath and I'm just making sure everything is nice and blended together you can even go in lighter if you wanted with the concealer so I'm just continuing to blend everything together 
and kind of patting out these like zit spots that I concealed. Next I'm going to go ahead and set the areas where I put concealer and I'm just using this Studio Makeup, I think this is their HD finishing powder and I'm just going to go in really lightly like I don't want anything too cakey and heavy. You can use any kind of powder you want but I'm just using this tapered brush to place some of that powder where I put the concealer and then just kind of brushing off the excess down in this lower region. I'm wanting my skin to still look really dewy and fresh, so I'm not going in really heavy with the powder. Now that we have our base, I'm going to go ahead and just do my brows how I normally do. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. This is my favorite brow pencil ever. And I'm going to go ahead and just do this off camera because we all have our ways of doing our brows and it can get kind of tedious and boring to watch. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so my brows are done and I went ahead and set them with this brow gel by The Brow Gal. It's like a microfiber brow gel kind of thing and I love it. It's one of my favorites. So anyways, we're going to continue on with the face. And for bronzer today, I actually got this idea from Taylor here on YouTube, aka Thetayla. I think that's how it's pronounced. I love her so much. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. I love her content. I just, I want to be her friend, okay? That sounds creepy and weird, but I do. So anyways, she recommended using this e.l.f. eyebrow kit. And on this side, we have like a gel for your brows, but this side is more of a powder. So this is like the perfect cool tone shade for more fair skin. And I have been using this as a bronzer and, or like a contour shade, and I love it so much. So what I'm going to do is take the Sigma... F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. This is one of my favorite contour brushes of all time. And I'm just gonna lightly tap in to that cool tone shade. And I'm not going for like a really heavy contour. I'm just kind of like, just kind of defining the areas that really need it, which is like all over my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and just contour slightly. You can see that just adds so much definition. I swear this is like the most perfect shade. And then I'm just going to go in lightly on the forehead, nothing too crazy. I usually just do this to kind of even everything out. I mean, I don't think my forehead is like too humongous, so I don't have to contour much, but I just like it to be nice and even with the cheek, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to go in lightly on my jawline right here. Once again, just to make sure everything's nice and even, kind of contour this down here, <laughs> if it, that even helps or works. Okay, now that contour is done, I'm going to go ahead and put some blush on my cheeks. And this is one of my favorite blushes. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Mellow Wine. I love this blush. The only thing is, it's ridiculously pigmented, so you have to go on really, really lightly. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Luxie, which one is this? The Luxie 640 Pro Precision, Precision Taper Brush. This is my favorite brush for blush. <laughs> and I'm just going to tap in to the color and tap off any excess. Excess? Oh my god, I can't, I can't talk. I just can't talk. Anyways, I'm going to place this on the apples of my cheeks. And just kind of blend upward into the contour. I just really like how this color looks on my skin. Um, I feel like it's more of a flattering kind of blush. It's not too pink and it's not too neutral like brown, but it just has like a really nice mauve tone to it and I really love it. Now that blush is on, I'm going to go into highlighter. Now you don't have to do an intense highlight for this, but I choose to because I really want this look to be very glowy. Like that's the purpose of the look for me. So I am using the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Illuminati. This highlighter is like crazy and so pretty, but I am going to go ahead and place this on my cheeks. I'm going to use my e.l.f. highlighting brush. This is my favorite highlighting brush of all time. And I'm actually just going into the lid because this is like a loose powder and it's really, really intense. So I'm just going in to the lid right here, tapping off just a little bit. And you guys can already probably see how glowy that is. I'm kind of just bringing that off to the side of my temple and then up on that higher point of my brow and just kind of blending it all together. Once again, this is like super intense, but I love it. 
and throughout the day it starts to kind of like mellow down a little bit and once I put in like setting spray and everything it all kind of just like diffuses together and it just looks really nice it's a really pretty like eyeshadow too or you can even use it for the inner corner high whoa I forgot to tap off my brush <laughs> I'm all sitting here saying like oh yeah I like an intense highlight and look what I just did so we are gonna take let me see here I'm gonna take this brush right here and just kind of <laughs> Flick some of that off because that was a little too much it looks even crazier in real life oh my god okay anyway so then I'm doing exactly what I did on the other side and then I'm also going to place a little bit of the highlight down my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow and chin and then I'm just gonna go over one more time with nothing on the brush make sure it's nice and blended Okay, so we're nice and glowy now. I know it looks crazy, but once we do the eyeshadow and everything, it's going to all come together. So the next step is to spray the crap out of your face with setting spray. I'm using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I love the setting spray so much. It has such a fine mist. It makes my makeup stay on all day. So I am just going to spray my face and just let that dry and then... Once again, I'm just going to take my sponge and just kind of press everything in. That way all these powders are nice and set on my face. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed you guys on in and we're going to go ahead and start working on the eyes. You can use any neutral tone palette for this look. So I'm just going in with my trusty Modern Renaissance palette. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time. The shadows blend beautifully, as we all know. So to prime my lids, I'm actually just going to use my Tarte Shape Tape. This works great as a primer because it is so thick in full coverage and it just makes everything stick. We're going to start off by setting the lid with this shade Tempura. Yeah, Tempura. <laughs> and I'm just taking a flat brush from Morphe and just placing that all over the lid. This does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's okay because we're going to use it again in just a second. But I am just placing that all over the lid. Nothing crazy. Next, I'm going to go in with this Sigma Taper Blending Brush. This is the E35 brush. And I'm going to go in to the shade Warm Taupe. This is one of my favorite transition shades of all time. It's like the perfect color. You can even use your contour shade or your bronzer for your transition. But I'm just going to use this because I really love how this blends out. So I am just placing that on to the transition area and I am just blending that all in. And then obviously I am placing this on my other eye as well. And I'm going in windshield wiper motions and circular motions and just making sure everything is nice and blended. Next I'm going in to the shade Cypress Umber, which is this deep chocolate brown. And I'm just taking that same Sigma brush and I am just placing that right in the crease and just blending that in. And then what I'm gonna do is take that same color and kind of place that on this outer portion of the lid and kind of like in a V formation, I'm just gonna blend that in like from the bottom into the crease if that makes sense. And we're leaving this place blank, but we're just gonna place some shadow over that in just a second. So once again, I am just blending this into the crease and on the outer third in a V formation and back into the crease. And then I'm just taking this really small taper blending brush from Luxie. This is the 237 blending brush. And I'm going back in to Warm Taupe and just a little bit into Cypress Umber, like just barely tapping. And I'm just running that across my lower lash line really lightly. And then I'm going back in to Tempura. You can even use like a gold shade or whatever you want all over the lid. But I'm just going in to this like satiny white shade. And I am just placing that all over this portion of the lid where there was no shadow and just kind of like bouncing that in. Okay, next I'm going to take a black eyeshadow. You can take any black eyeshadow you want, but I'm just using this Sigma Nightlife palette. And I'm going to go in to this deep black shade right here. And I am just taking a really small pencil brush. And I'm kind of just going to use this as eyeliner in a way. 
So I am just going to place this as close to the lash line as I possibly can. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. But I'm just starting right here and kind of blending towards the corner of the eye. And then I'm also going to kind of flick out the shadow just a little for like a tiny wing. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. Um, like I said, this is just a really like easy way to kind of have like an eyeliner effect without actually using eyeliner. This is just something that's a lot more light and airy and it looks really nice. Okay, the last thing for eyeshadow is we're going to go back in to the highlighter. And I'm just taking a really small pencil brush and highlighting the inner corners to match the highlighter on the outside. This always looks really nice and once again it's going to make you look nice and awake, nice and glowy, almost like angelic, which is a nice look. <laughs> and I am just placing some of that highlighter on my brow bone, but I'm not going too heavy, I'm just going in very lightly. Next I'm just going to tight line with some black eyeliner on the inner portion of my eye, just on the top. This just kind of like adds more volume to the lashes or like an illusion of more volume to the lashes. And you can even place this in your waterline if you want to. But I'm actually going to be using a nude pencil in the waterline just to kind of go with the whole effect of making me look awake. So I'm just using this Sigma Inner Rim Brightener in the shade Final Touch. This is just like a nude colored eyeliner. Next, I'm just throwing on some mascara on my top and lower lashes. You can actually stop here if you wanted to, but I am going to add some falsies on it because I love a really natural look with false lashes. I just feel like it makes the lashes like the center of attention and it looks so pretty. So I'm just going to add the mascara and then I'm gonna go off camera and apply some lashes and I will be right back. All right guys, lashes are on. I used the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes. I love these lashes, they're very affordable. I got them from Ulta, I believe, and they were like five bucks or something. And you can reuse them a few times and they're very like wispy and flirty and I just love them. So the last and final step is lipstick. Now with this look, you can literally use any color lipstick you want because it is so neutral. But personally, I like using more of a bold lip. So I am gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Catherine. This is one of my favorite lip shades. It's kind of like more of a cool toned, kind of like pinky red, and I just love it so much. So I am just gonna kind of speed up the footage here as I put this on because it takes me a while, and I will be right back. All right, guys, that completes this look. I really like it, and what I love is that you can mix and match colors and add whatever you like. I have done this look with like more of a berry toned lip as well, and I really like how that looks, but I'm just choosing the red today because it makes me feel empowered, you know what I mean? I just really love how this looks. It's very glowy, very pretty, and it's perfect for the summertime because you're not using a ton of foundation and heavy product on your face. It just feels really light, and I think this is like a really perfect like everyday glam if you're wanting to do more of an everyday look but you're kind of trying to like glam it up if you know what I mean. So with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. I have links down below and with that being said I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye!